I have a dream, I have a dream, I have a dream. Man, I have a dream that Republican candidates, the Republican Party this year, in what is going to be admittedly a difficult year, I've got a dream that the Republican Party is going to educate the voters around the country that today's Democrat Party, man, it's really the Socialist Party. You look at how far left today's Democrat Party has moved. This is not your daddy's Democrat Party. This is not your grandmama's Democrat Party. Uh, John F. Kennedy would not be in this Democrat Party. This is a Socialist Party today, and I just hope, and yesterday, uh, I think uh, delivering her 938th reason, excuse, for why she didn't win. And, and she said that's because there are too many, Hillary Clinton said this, there are too many socialists in the Democrat Party, and Hillary said, I'm a capitalist. Even every now and then, from the mouth of Hillary Clinton, some truth comes out. It is a socialist party. Alfie Evans, that two-year-old boy in the United Kingdom, that the government in the United Kingdom killed, that the government in the United Kingdom decided should die. That little two-year-old boy was killed by the government. That little two-year-old boy was killed by government-run health care. And wouldn't you know, most of the Democrat Party today wants the same thing here. They were talking about it before the government in the United Kingdom killed Alfie Evans, but even after that horrible act a week or two ago, most of the Democrats in D.C. are pushing and continuing to push government-run health care. Government-run health care. Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders came out a week ago, you might have missed it. Bernie Sanders came out a week ago and said, and he wasn't alone, he had Democrats up on the platform with him. Bernie Sanders came out and Bernie Sanders said, every American should be guaranteed a job. Every American should be guaranteed a job. That's not socialism. You guarantee every single American a job? Bernie wasn't alone. Bernie introduced a bill to guarantee every American a job, and most of the Democrats in the United States Senate co-sponsored that bill. And then in the two months since the Florida shooting, it's become really clear that a majority of Democrats, if they could, they would repeal the Second Amendment. They would ban all guns. They would confiscate guns. Heck, you had a Democrat congressman, not some wing nut, you had a Democrat congressman, Eric Swalwell from California, who publicly today in the USA Today said, we need to ban guns, we need to confiscate guns, and if Americans, he said this in an op-ed, if Americans don't turn in certain firearms, the government should arrest them. The government should go into their homes and confiscate weapons. You had a Democrat congressman today, publicly today, call for the arrest of American citizens who don't turn in their guns. That poll out a week ago, I think it was Pew, uh, 40 some percent of the Democrat Party, of Democrat voters, would repeal the Second Amendment. Well over a majority of young Democrats would repeal the Second Amendment. This is today's Democrat Party. Government-run health care. Let the government decide whether you live or die. A guaranteed job for every American. And, and get rid of your guns. Get rid of your guns. Today's Democrat Party. That's not any sort of Democrat Party I recognize. That is socialism. That is communism. Now, I know that, and you know that. Why can't the Republican Party say that? Why can't every Republican voter around the country whose name is on a ballot this November say that? 
This is where the Democrat Party ha is going. This is what the Democrat Party has become. That Alfie Evans, the Democrats want that here. The Democrats want that here. They want the government to decide whether you will live or die. Why can't the Republicans speak this way? This is going to be a tough year. There is a blue wave out there. Democrat voters are fired up. Come on, Republicans. Give our voters something to get fired up about as well. Hey, don't go anywhere. Coming up, we've got maybe it's not the biggest story in the world, but it should be.